finding limits numerically. Uh, we're trying to find the behavior of this function as x gets closer and closer to 2. Uh, in other words, x approaches to 2. So x approaches to 2. As x approaches to 2, uh, what value does this function get closer and closer to? And when you say x approaches to 2, it actually means two possible things. It could be that x becomes like 2.1, 2.01, 2.001, Or it could be x equals to 1.9, 1.99, 1.999, 1.999. And uh, it doesn't have to be these numbers. It could be like 2.1 uh, and 2.02, 2.003, 2.000, some other number. Um, all I'm trying to say is that there are two kinds of approaching to 2, which is one is you could approach the 2 from the right. So let's say this is 2.1 in other words uh, this is the number line and I've magnified it a lot so that 2.1 is here then 2.01 will be somewhere here very close to 2 even closer than 2.1 and then 2.001 will be here and then somewhere really hard to distinguish from the 2 will be 2.0001 and you're approaching from the right. Uh, we can write this kind of approaching in the following way, x goes to 2 plus, because all these numbers are slightly bigger than 2. You could also approach to 2 from the left. Uh, you can start from 1.9, then 1.99 will be somewhere here, 1.999 will be even closer, and then Somewhere here will be 1.9999, and it will be really hard to distinguish from 2. And notationally, we write this as x goes to 2 minus because all these numbers are slightly less than 2. Now, if we say f of x is equal to this above function, To evaluate this limit means to evaluate the function at these points. So I have to evaluate f at 2.1, f at 2.01, f at 2.001, and then so on and so on. And also do the same thing for f of 1.9, f of 1.99, and so on and so on. Okay? Uh, and of course, uh, to actually evaluate this, we'll need a calculator to do it. And uh, what we want to see is what's the behavior of these numbers? Are these numbers getting closer and closer to some target number? If so, what is it? That's our question. All right, so let's see how we can actually calculate these numbers. I'll just to do f of 2.1 as an example. Uh, that means x is replaced by 2.1, so it's 3 times e to the 2.1 minus 1 minus 3 over 2.1 minus 2. Well, 2.1, 2. 2. I'm sorry, why did I put 2.1? 2. 2.1 minus 2 is 0. 0.1, right? 3 to the e to the 0. 0.1 minus 3, and 2.1 minus 2 is 0. 0.1. And at this point, I really need my calculator. Uh, since I don't have my calculator inside this computer, I'm going to use a web-based calculator called Desmos, uh, but basically it's like your scientific calculator. You'll find it to be very similar to scientific calculator. Okay, so let's see. We, let's do three times e to the power of zero point one minus three. That's the numerator. Okay. And this value here is now 
divided by the denominator. Our denominator is 0 0.1, right? So I'm going to put that 0 0.1. And the resulting value is 3.155. Okay, so I'm going to copy that over here. That's our value. Okay. Now we have to do that for all these values, and it will be nice if we can organize things in a table like this. Okay. So all the values here, and we have to calculate f at these values. Now this is very time consuming, so I'm just going to skip this step uh, because I actually did all the work before recording this video. So here are the actual values I obtained by plugging it into the calculator. And uh, now what we need to do, uh, the more important thing is to understand what this table is saying. Okay. I mean, just plugging in values and filling up this table that every, anyone can do, right? But what you need, really need to learn is how do you interpret this table, okay? So first, I want you to see that uh, this 2.1 does give you 3.15. That's the one that we just calculated together. And as you get closer and closer to 2, see 2.0001 is closer to 2, right? So as it gets closer and closer to 2, what's happening to this value of the function, 3.155, 3.015, 3.001, 3.0001. 3 so that's getting closer and closer to 3, right? Now we can rewrite this. And we can write this part of the table as uh, the following symbol. The limit of this function, 3 times e to the x minus 2 minus 3 over x minus 2 as x goes to 2 from the positive side is equal to 3. Now because on the number line these numbers are on the right side of 2 this type of limit is called the right limit. Okay what about this side? Uh, we also have 1.9, 1.99, 1.999, 1.9999 1 so you get closer and closer to 2 uh, but from the left. So here, uh, x is approaching 2 from the negative side. Well, here, x is approaching from 2 from the positive side. So this right side of the table is x approaching to 2 plus, whereas on the left side of the table, I see that x is approaching to 2 from the left. Uh, I hope you know that, that 1.9999 is much closer to 2 than 1.9. Now, again, you see that the value of the function is 2.8, 2.98, 2.998, 2.9998. .9 so had we put one more 9 in there, we're probably going to get more 9s, right? 2.9999, right? So it will get closer and closer to 3 as we put in more 9s. And this side of the table can be written as, as x goes to 2 minus of this function 3 times e to the x minus 2 minus 3 over x minus 2 is equal to 3. And this is called the left limit. Now when the right limit and the left limit agree and they are at some finite value, we say that this limit does exist when, and when these two things are equal and their finite value, we say that this limit does exist, and uh, the value of this limit is the, the common value, right? So the conclusion is that from this table, we can say that the limit of this function as x goes to 2 is equal to 3.